What up and welcome back to Born Reviews. Adjusting himself there. And Jumping sitting the still here. doing nothing there. <laughs> um, and we are reacting to Nick's absolute despise, loathe, can't stand comedian of all time, Mickey Flanagan. But I'm glad you guys came because I love Mickey. I can't wait to watch him. Everything he says just cracks me up. And Nick's like, oh my gosh, did he seriously go there? I just can't. It's, it's I can't. Control. And I'm like, yes, dig deep. Talk about sex. I just don't get this guy. Like, he's just not that funny to me. I don't understand why anyone likes him. But to support my wife, we're going to go ahead and check it out. We're going to check out Look After Yourself. It's very, very good to look after yourself because if you don't look after yourself, then who else is going to do it? I don't even know what that means. Look after yourself. Give me a break. Um, maybe take care of yourself. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. If you take it literally, this is kind of silly. Right? You can't. And you know what's Mickey, Nick? Well, if you ever understood his true charisma and hum hum humor, sense of I humor. I say hematosis or I something. know. I, could, like, I like, <laughs> couldn't think of the word I wanted to say. Sense of humor, then you would get it. But... One day you'll get there. One I don't day. think so. I don't know. You're I'm American. I can't do it. That's true. That's true. Freaking American. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload videos. I can't think right now. I was going to say, can you take a break? Thinking's hard. You need a break? I do, actually. All right. Let's go ahead and check this out right now. My wife's terrified about my health. She's always worried. She looked at me the other day. She said, what you going to do if you have a stroke? I said, oh, that's cheerful, isn't it? <laughs> I said, never mind what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I said, you've got to act fast. I've seen the advert. Face, arm, beat. <laughs> got to go. She said, that's how you wind up two or three times a week. What am I supposed to do? I said, all right, there's no need for that. I said, anyway, what are you worried about me having a stroke for? She said, oh, I read a thing in the paper the other day about the number of men who have a stroke and that, and they can't sort of make the financial decisions, they can't release the money from the account, and the wife ends up skint. I said, oh, here we go, we're getting to the heart of the matter now. <laughs> so we went to a solicitor and I more or less signed a letter saying that should I become incapacitated and unable to make sound financial decisions, she gets all the money and she can do what she likes of it. It's left me a little bit paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I keep getting this terrible vision of me by the sunny window. <laughs> a bit of potato on me chin. Yeah. <laughs> and her coming in in a new outfit and a new bag and me, no fucking hell! A new bag! You don't need a new bag! No, it's a bit strong, this bit, isn't it? I know you're in it. So it's me having the stroke here, by the way. <laughs> you know, fucking idiot, you thing. Why you got a fucking thing? Mrs. Flanagan, whenever you turn up, your husband gets really, really stressed out of you. Does, uh... You, however, look fantastic yet again. <laughs> Is that a money? <laughs> so, uh, consequently, because my wife's worried about my health, we end up sort of living this slightly sort of like, like, like a monastery. There's no treats in the house. Never any treats. Nothing. A rice cake, if I'm lucky. <laughs> But I came in the other day and I think she felt a bit guilty. She looked at me, she said, oh, there's a treat in the cupboard for you. I thought, aye, aye, wagon wheel. <laughs> Lion bar. <laughs> crunchy. Ooh. <laughs> Love a crunchy. Just when you think it's finished, you think, aye, aye. Yep. Nope. Yeah, that's true. Aye, aye, See you later. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. I've opened the cupboard up. What's there? Some dried dates. <laughs> when did they become a treat? <laughs> oh, shit, that turned up every Christmas, weren't it? In the long box with a stick. <laughs> so you go, who eats these, Mum? Who actually eats these? You used to say in the box, eat me. You go, no fucking way. I'm not eating that. It's in a quality street over here. What do you think? I'm thick. <laughs> you have 
where you at? Oh, I want him to go more on that topic. That is hilarious. I mean, it's it would be terrifying if you're him because he's you know he's making a good amount of money, right? Mm-hmm. To have to sign over that kind of situation, but at the same time, it would also be terrifying if you were in that situation. And because of logistics or whatever, like you, your wife, your significant other couldn't do anything with that money that you earned for the family or whatever. Yep. But <laughs> you can't get started thinking about that paranoid train, you know, of thought because then you're just gonna every situation she does is she trying to kill me? She's trying to well, poison me? That's what I thought he was gonna say, staring out the window, and then all of a sudden, black. Yeah. <laughs> like she knocks you out, she kills you. She poisoned you something. But again, if that happened, like that would be quite Oh, completely. Yes. What's yes. The yes. Word? Um, um suspicious. suspicious. Yes. Yeah. Jinx, double jinx, no knocking on wood, you owe me a coke. Okay. But um the the treats part he's absolutely right. Like as you get older, unfortunately, you've gotta be careful of what you eat and how much of that junk you eat. I'm sure it's the same all around the world, but especially in this country, there's always junk everywhere. You go to work and someone's brought in cookies or cupcakes or some nonsense or cake or whatever. You go here, you go home and, you know, we're teachers. So people are bringing us junk all the time and we're taking it home. Like you owe it. I don't think we ever have to buy it, but then those aren't necessarily the treats that you want. And so you want the treats. And so when he's walking around saying there's no treats in the house, I get it. Like it's such a simple, small thing, but we look forward to that kind of stuff. I've had a hard day. I need a treat for crying out loud. I always think about chocolate and treats. I'm always like, can you buy me some? So I am the worst at talking about that because I need like my daily dose of something yummy. No one's concerned. I mean, I'm concerned, but not too much to stop eating it. On how we are all like literally addicted to sugar. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, if you ever try to do a no sugar diet, like you literally cut it out. It is. I've done it a few times. Oh my gosh, yes. And right now, I mean, like a low sugar type diet, but cutting it out all together, like for a week, you can literally feel like little withdrawals and you're feeling kind of sick and you don't feel right and whatever. And then that passes. And it's funny because once that dependency is like out of your brain and I get it, like real drug addictions don't get over in a week or whatever, but with a sugar addiction, once it passes, like it's. It's amazing how you just look at a candy bar, look at a soda. And it's not yummy anymore. And it's just like another option. It's not like, oh, I gotta have yeah. that. And in fact, when, scary. when you eat it, you're like, oh, that was like too much. I feel like we need to do that again, like after the holidays, because yeah. we've jumped on it too much. But Go we have it. done that through as a family a few times, and it, it is a good thing to do. But when you also when you do that, you you realize how many opportunities there are for yes. sweets. Free sweets. Mm-hmm. Like people just give it away. It's crazy. Anyways, this was fantastic. If you couldn't catch it earlier, she was being sarcastic. I was being sarcastic. Love Mickey Flanagan. I am excited to see all the comments I get of all the hate because people take it seriously and say you don't understand comedy because then I'm going to say right back, well, obviously you don't understand comedy because I was being sarcastic. Take that, baby. if you follow this all the way through, if you love Mickey Flanagan, comment below that your team, Nick, and we'll get it. We'll get it, baby. If you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Cheers.